Welcome to our video series featuring the Creative Icon 2 sewing and embroidery machine. This video will be focusing on the projection setup with projection options, stitch preview, and grid. Please check out the other videos that are available. Also, don't forget, there are over 100 videos right on your Creative Icon 2 that can be found in the Help Center. To start projection, touch the projection icon on your capacitive touch screen. When the projection mode comes up, you're going to start the setup. The first thing you want to do is touch to turn the projection on. So anytime you see that little orange or peach color, that means that it's active or it's on. You have the option to change your brightness. The brightness itself can go from low, medium, to high. You can also change the background color. The background color depends on what color fabric you're going to be using. We found that black works quite well for most fabrics, but you can always make that change. To make the change, go ahead and touch the plus icon and you'll see a whole group of colors down here at the bottom. Let's say I want to change my background color to blue. You'll notice that the outside area did turn blue. However, that inside dot, that's the actual color of your background. To make that change, now you're going to adjust the brightness. Notice how by using the icon on the right, that changes that center, and then the icon on the left will also do the same. So it's changing the color and the intensity of what your background color would be. If you wanna go back to just normal black, you can just go ahead and touch back. The next thing we want to do is change your stitch preview. So let's turn the stitch preview on. If you don't see the off and on, and all you see is this little arrow, just touch the arrow, and that will show you and let you see what your stitch preview or grid or stitch guides would mean. So touch that little arrow, that will get you started. We also recommend or like the color white. It's a good contrast for most stitches on your Creative Icon 2. But again, remember, if you want to, you can always change your color by touching that little plus and making the adjustments on the outside edge. There are also quick colors if that is your choice. Once I have the stitch preview on, when I'm actually sewing my stitches, we like to use the grid. So at this point, let's just go ahead get that grid and turn it on and I'm just going to leave my defaults. So just leave it as is. I'm going to use the grid color as green, the grid size is 10 millimeters and you'll see that here in just a moment. The last thing that we want to do is I am going to turn one stitch guide on. This is going to help me keep everything straight. I like my width all the way up to about a seven or an eight. That's about as high as it'll go. That just means it's gonna be wider than it is down on one. Leave everything else the same and you're ready for your projection. Let's, I'm minimizing the projection for a moment. And the reason is, is now let's choose a stitch. Your Creative Icon 2 has some beautiful new stitches in the needle art category, so category three, subcategory four. This is a whole new group of stitches. These beautiful needle art maxi stitches are things you're going to want to play around with, have fun with. I'm just gonna choose number nine. And now I can see my uh, stitch right on screen. The beautiful thing about projection here is in just a minute, you're gonna see that it's not only on the screen, but it's also where you're stitching. I wanna look at one more thing. Notice my recommendation says 
that my um, presser foot should be presser foot eight. Right now, because of the artificial intelligence, I know I don't have a presser foot on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and there is my presser foot eight. I'm going to snap that on and notice, oh, and guess what? It actually told me I had the wrong foot on. I chose the 2A foot rather than the 8A foot. So again, my creative icon is so smart, it went ahead and grabbed that. Now the AI is saying the recommended foot is eight and there's nothing underneath. So that means that I have on the proper foot. So now we're ready to sew. Once you have everything set up and you're projecting on your fabric, you can really see how these grid lines are going to help. The first thing I always look at is, are my grid, the green grid lines, lined up with the edges or where I want to stitch my stitch? So I did change the size of my grid from 10 millimeters to nine millimeters. So these two parts of my grid are perfectly lined up so I can keep this nice and straight. It's a little hard to see on video, but what you can see is there's my nice new maxi stitch and it really shows how it's gonna look with the fabric. So that's really neat. And also, when I start sewing, the actual stitch goes away, but my center grid line is always there, or my stitch guide is what I should say, is always there. So I'm going to align my grid and my stitch guide right down the middle. So let's get started. And what you'll end up seeing is how nice and easy it is to keep my maxi stitches straight because my grid is always going back and forth onto my fabric. So super easy. I think I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit more. sewing those long, long stretches of different types of stitches, you'll be able to easily keep them nice and even right inside where your fabric is.